You don't cheat anybody out of their experience, whatever it is. Freed from the thoughts of winning, I instantly play better. I stop thinking, start feeling. My shots become a half second quicker, my decisions become the product of instinct rather than logic. Hate brings me to my knees, love gets me on my feet. Remember this. Hold on to this. This is the only perfection there is, the perfection of helping others. This is the only thing we can do that has any lasting meaning. This is why we're here. To make each other feel safe. Nothing can substitute for just plain hard work. I had to put in the time to get back. And it was a grind. It meant training and sweating every day. But I was completely committed to working out to prove to myself that I still could do it. This is the only perfection there is, the perfection of helping others. Success doesn't always come in the form of a trophy. Keep striving for success. I've been motivated by overcoming challenge and overcoming the hurdles and obstacles that face me. There still is plenty out there to get motivated by. Life will throw everything but the kitchen sink in your path, and then it will throw the kitchen sink. It's your job to avoid the obstacles. If you let them stop you or distract you, you're not doing your job, and failing to do your job will cause regrets that paralyze you more than a bad back. Being number two sucks. There's a lot of good waiting for you on the other side of tired. Get yourself tired. You have to have the mentality of executing your game when you don't feel like there's a lot of hope. I think the best feeling is when somebody pushes you to the limit and you dig down a little bit extra. By the same token, you also need a little luck. Sometimes they come together. Pride as bad, stress as good. I don't want to feel confident. I want to feel rage. Endless, all-consuming rage. There's no such thing as an open draw. At least for me. I mean, obviously for Roger Federer. I think every draw feels open for him. But for me there's no such thing as an open draw.
I prayed, not for victory, but that my hairpiece would not fall off. I imagine millions of spectators move closer to their TV sets, their eyes widening and, in dozens of dialects and languages, ask how Andre Agassi's 